Transition from single agent to transaction broker. A single agent relationship may be changed to a transaction broker relationship at any time during the relationship between the agent and principal, provided the agent first obtains the principal's written consent to change in relationship. To gain the principal's written consent to change in relationship, the buyer or the seller or both must sign a consent to transition to transaction broker notice set forth in Chapter 475. Note that the disclosure notice requires the buyer or the seller's signature before the licensee may change from one brokerage relationship to another. If the principal refuses to sign the consent to transition notice, the broker must continue to act as a single agent. For example, assume that a brokerage firm represents seller Rebecca as a single agent. Buyer Mike enters the brokerage firm with the purpose of finding a home to purchase. Mike, not working with any other real estate company, indicates that he wants the real estate firm to represent him in the real estate negotiations and to work solely in his best interest. Mike has indicated to the licensee that he desires single agency representation. The licensee must give Mike the single agent notice before entering into a buyer agency agreement or before showing Mike any property. Because Mike has entered into a single agent relationship with the brokerage firm, the sales associate may not show Rebecca's home to the buyer. This is because a broker may not be a single agent of the buyer and a seller in the same transaction. This is true even if Rebecca and Mike use different sales associates in the same company because the single agent agreement is with the brokerage firm. If a real estate broker represents both parties in a transaction in a fiduciary capacity, an illegal dual agent relationship is created. Because both Mike and Rebecca entered into a single agent relationship with the brokerage firm, they must both be given written consent to transition or change to transaction broker relationship in order for Mike to be shown Rebecca's home. This is the purpose of allowing a licensee to transition from one agency status to another. The consent to transition to transaction broker notice includes wording regarding the principal's permission to allow the single agent to transition to a transaction broker. The notice also includes a list of duties that a transaction broker owes to the customer. The consent to transition to transaction broker notice can either be a separate document or be included as part of another document. For example, in the listing agreement, see disclosure format earlier in this unit for information concerning the required format of the disclosure notice. See figure 4.4. .4. A licensee may also transition from transaction broker relationship to a single agent relationship. Furthermore, a licensee may transition from any one of the brokerage relationships to another relationship. However, there is no specific disclosure language provided in the Florida License Law for these situations. The licensee will have to accomplish the transition in a manner sufficient to withstand a civil challenge under common law. See Figure 4.5 Authorized Relationship in One Brokerage Firm in the Same Transaction So here we have the relationship with the seller and the authorized relationship with the buyer. So if a transaction broker for the seller, then the transaction broker or a no brokerage relationship with the buyer. If a single agent for the seller, then it's a no brokerage relationship with the buyer.